All right. Good morning, everybody, to the, the forge in our shop. Now, I'm gonna start this off by saying, I am no expert in blacksmithing, blacksmithing practices. I was introduced to it about two years ago when I started working here. So take anything I say with a grain of salt. I will just be explaining what I've learned in the past two years, some of the practices that we use here and how we utilize this area and the tools back here to the best of our ability. So back in this forging area, we've got quite a, quite a variety of tools. These green bases and big hydraulic or pneumatic rams behind me are what we call our power hammers. And they're pneumatic because they're air powered feeding through our big uh, air compressor over there, and they just cycle up and down very quickly uh, to shape molten hot metal into pretty much whatever we want, thankfully. And they get molten hot because of that thing right there. That's our one of our forges, and it's powered or fueled by our 1,000-gallon propane tank that's outside, and then just pipes straight in and then shoots down in, and that fire brick or the, the surround... Um, rock around it is what keeps that heat insulated and allows parts to get glowing hot. All right, so tool number one we're gonna talk about is kind of the main piece of tooling we'll use in the forging area. This is called a power hammer. So it uses this pneumatic cylinder, which is powered by our air compressor, to cycle this top die down and smash our molten or warmed up pieces of metal that we'll use to warm up in the forge so right now this machine is locked out and safe. It has no pressure going to it and this block of wood is holding it in its upright or secure position. So right now I'm gonna open this ball valve, pressurize this ram, take this block of wood out and let it drop. And now it's gonna drop. What I'm going to do next is open up this ball valve, which will repressurize this hydraulic ram, this pneumatic ram, and lift this head up. And then I'll kind of get in position and use this foot half moon. That's how you control the cycle of the ram and run it through a few motions. And you can see the action that the ram is going to have. So depending on what dies are in there, you'll stand, your orientation will be different to the piece of machinery. You can go forward and back this way, or you can see these dies are lined up to work long ways because the material we were working with was six feet long when using these dies. So rule number one, you always want to be comfortable. So I use my right foot for control, which means I'm going to step on it with my right and brace myself with my left leg. And then I'll move forward and backward again, depending on what material we're using. Now it's a very, very controlled and slight touch with the foot. And then and that's that. And then to re relock out this machine, make it safe again, stick the block of wood back up, close the ball valve. And it's safe. Now power hammers are cool because there's pretty much an unlimited amount of dies or tooling that can be used on these things. This little base right here along with the top is what we'd call a die. They're pretty much tool steel that has been hardened and annealed so that when you put molten hot pieces of metal into it and then smash these things together very quickly, they don't deform the actual metal that you're trying to shape change of shape. So why is there an unlimited amount? Because just like this die right here, you can make your own. We made this for a specific forged rail that uh, was originally rectangular in shape with really sharp corners. And then we would load six foot sections of it into our forge, run it through this, soften those corners a little bit so that when you're grabbing it like you would a normal handrail, you're not running your fingers along sharp edges and potentially cutting them. Now you're at a much different vantage point, so you can see how I set up my body and how I use the foot pedal and watch the actual motion of the ram as it cycles through its process. So, always be comfy, 
And then I'm assuming, depending on how long my piece of material is and what tongs I'll be using, the tongs are what you use to grab the hot metal as it comes out of the forge. You want to kind of have a good base, and then this foot is going to control the action of the ram. See, now it's not striking all the way, but I can make it do that. I can bring it back up. It's all about control. You have to know what action, how far you put your foot down, and how far the ram is going to collide. I come and go as you command And it's fair.